When you think of music, what do you think of? That's right, the theremin. And when you think of the theremin, who comes to mind? None other than pop theremin virtuoso, Clara Venice. So I went to her condo to learn more about the theremin. Why the theremin? Why not something that plays music? <laughs> okay, the theremin actually does play music. It actually does sound like a human voice or maybe a violin when played properly. How does someone get into the theremin? Drugs? <laughs> you look like you're down to party. <laughs> you see it and decide that you need to have it. The drugs? And <laughs> the theremin, oh, the theremin. Okay. Yeah, like when you see it, I feel that people are like, what is this magic? And then they will seek it out and bring it home and make it theirs. Say I'm a little girl and I'm not on drugs yet. Okay. <laughs> How do I get into the theremin? You go to the store um, and Moog makes really good ones. Andy store. Moog, the former NHL goaltender? No, um, Moog, M-O-O-G, Moog or Moog. I believe it's yes. spelled the same. Yeah, uh, okay, so M-O-O-G. And you buy it and then it just makes music. You describe your sound as space pop music for lovers and dreamers. Yeah. Can you tell me what's going on at the CBC? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, are we ready to jam? Yeah. Let's jam. Let's jam. All right. It was time to get hands off with Clara. I wrote a poem about Leon Theremin. Do you mind if you play something and I can read the poem? That's amazing. Leon Theremin invented the theremin. Rest in peace, Leon. The poem's over, we can stop. <laughs> it's just a haiku. From Clara Venice's studio for the Late O'Clock News, I'm Paula Mew.